Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Annette and we're getting there. We're getting there, feeling a lot better today. Still got a bit of a cough, a little bit of a temperature, but almost human again. And I'm not even really sure why I'm prefacing prefacing these videos with such updates because should I be a bit sad and choose to watch these videos back at the end of the year? I'm just going to go, why Annette? Nobody cares. Nobody cares but you. But there you go. I'm just, uh, I just feel the need to share. Sorry, that's where I'm at. Today, following the Claire's um, supple preparation tonic yesterday, I have no idea how to pronounce this. You may have come across this Korean brand. I don't know how to say it. I don't speak Korean. I've no idea how to enunciate this, but we're going to go with Pyongyang Yul because, um, so apologies uh, for getting that wrong. I don't know how else to say it. It's the essence toner. And it is 200 mils. Don't know if you can tell where is it on here. I got down to about, I think you can just about see that, down to about there and I went, you know what, it's not for me. This is an interesting product and it's good to compare it with the Claire's yesterday because these two products really, I think, embody how personal skincare is. If you look anywhere online actually, especially around K-Beauty uh, forums and ask about a really good hydrating toner or an essence toner. You will very often see both of these brought up, but never by the same person in my experience. It's not that they're divisive, but from what I can see is if you like one, you tend to not favour the other as much. So it's no real surprise that if yesterday was my holy grail toner, then this probably isn't and you'd be right you can see it comes in you know this is plastic uh blue packaging and well it's pretty much the same kind of consistency actually i mean it's slightly more watery i would say than the clairs let's see if it will yeah it... more watery and a couple of reasons why i don't favor it as much the first is the smell it's it's quite clean scented. I'd, it's not quite medicinal, but it's on that spectrum. And if you like that, you feel really clean and quite, we're not talking carbolic soap, but do you know what I mean when I say it's that kind of, you must be clean because you smell like that. It does dissipate, but it, it's that sort of, um, it's not quite earthy, but it's quite a natural smell, I would say. Whether it's natural or not is anyone's guess, because quite frankly, Everything else on here is in Korean. The only thing that isn't, it says how to use, dampen a cotton ball with toner and wipe with it your face. So there you go. Again, I would always go in with my hands and use the patting method. Aside from the smell, which I know I'm rubbish at describing scent and I'm really sorry about that. I've been trying to figure out how to do better and I've hit a brick wall. I don't have a clue. I don't know how to describe things or I certainly don't know how to describe smells and scents. So if you've got any ideas on how I can do that better, please do let me know. Uh, but that aside, the other reason I don't like it is I find it not drying, but not hydrating. I didn't find it hydrating or nourishing or moisturising. I don't believe those are the same things, but they are certainly all adding to, plumping up. Certainly, your skin, you would hope, would feel different in a better way after using it. And I just, I didn't find that. It wasn't an adverse reaction. Again, no sensitivity, no problem with that or with any of the other things I've tried in this range. But I found it almost like, okay, now I've added that in, I really, really need to go in with the rest of my skincare routine because now it does, my skin didn't feel dry, but it did feel slightly tight, just not uncomfortable, but not happy. I wanted to add hydration and I wanted to add moisture and I wanted something more emollient. It, that's almost what this did for me. It's sort of any kind of 
again, I don't know the word, the emollients. That's not a word. But if it was, and you know what I mean by that, that element to my skin, it just kind of felt damp and down and I needed to replace it. So for me, this didn't work. However, as I say, if you go on the forums, if you go into Facebook groups, if you check out, you know, other YouTube channels on this, there are a lot of people who really, really love this product. My suspicion is that many of them have an oilier skin type than me and that's what they like about it. The thing that my skin doesn't enjoy is exactly the thing that other skins will enjoy. And I think that if you've got so many people going, this is an amazing product, then it probably is. If you look at the Claire's toner, there are lots and lots of people who love that, just as I do. There are also quite a number of people who say that it's a hyped product and they don't get all the fuss. And I think that is the beauty of skincare. And that's sort of the point I wanted to make in this video, actually. Is this review helpful to you? No, but then are any reviews really? Unless you find somebody who has an identical skin type to you and identical preferences in terms of aesthetics and scents and just all those kind of almost secondary, the experiences, like back to skincare experience, if you find somebody who has both those same things as you, then their reviews are definitely going to be helpful. It doesn't mean I think reviews are completely a waste of time, because otherwise I really am wasting my life doing this. But I think what you can do is gauge. If you've taken enough opinions from enough of a range of sources, you can make a sort of informed guesstimate as to okay, you're going to spend your hard-earned money on something new. Is it worth it? Well, this range sounds like it might be doing the sorts of things you would like it to for your skin type. Therefore, you'll give it a go. So it just takes some of the guesswork away. But there are no guarantees here. They're both pretty good toners. Just this one isn't for me. I don't like the smell. It didn't react with my skin the way I would like a hydrating toner to, but there are so many people out there that do have that experience that I don't think it can be one is right and one is wrong. Skincare is subjective, not objective, no matter what anybody tells you. And I just wanted to throw it out there, if you have tried the Claire's and you don't like it, give this a whirl. If you're not looking for as hydrating a toner as I am because you're really happy with the rest of the products you're using and they provide enough hydration but you do want something just to you know sandwich between your cleanser and what with whatever comes next in terms of serums or moisturizers then again give this a go it's pretty reasonably priced it's pretty easy to get hold of the only other thing I would say when I got this and if you search for this brand online, you will see it's very much lauded for its cruelty-free status. However, in the middle of last year, I did read a post suggesting that the company were doing whatever admin you need to do to be able to sell in China, at which point they're no longer cruelty-free. I'm not really sure where they are with that process, so I can't definitively tell you whether this is now a cruelty free brand or not I would if that's something that's important to you then you know I'd highly recommend you look into that it's not a brand that I'm going to be pursuing partly for that reason and I'll link to the blog post where I read it below I'm not saying that it's right and I, you need to fact check yourself but because I didn't enjoy the products Knowing that that's in the pipeline for me is, you know, that's just, it's a red line that is really, really easy for me to not cross. There are other brands that I enjoy more. There are other products that work for me better. But if that's not something that's a major concern to you, um, I'll just leave that there. I have some thoughts on that. But if it's if that's not your thing and you don't really care, then fine, to each their own, um, but maybe check that out and, you know, see what you think. I'd, let's let's leave that with a question there, not about that product, cruelty-free products. When it comes to skincare, not I'm not talking about vegan, I'm not talking about your diet, I'm talking skincare, makeup, toiletries. Cruelty-free, does it matter? Discuss.
I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.